What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel, thanks for stopping by. If you're new around here, feel free to subscribe with your channel notifications turned on by clicking that bell icon, that way you'll never miss another upload. After you've joined the notification squad, be sure to drop us a comment down below letting us know by saying I subscribed or hashtag notification squad for your chance to be featured in our video shout out at the end of the month where you guys can get your name and comments on screen for everyone else watching to see. Last but not least, if you guys are fans of Pawn Stars, make sure to drop a like on this video and give it a big thumbs up. Now without further ado, let's jump back into the world of Pawn Stars to take a look at 7 reasons why Rick Harrison doesn't talk to Chum Lee outside of the show. Number 1. His Other Business Endeavors Austin Russell, aka Chum Lee, is still a businessman. Yeah, and he's surrounded by some smart business people. In fact, he's opening his own candy store in downtown Las Vegas. News 3's Denise Rock. As you'll come to know as we progress through this video, Chum Lee has got quite the life outside the doors of the Gold and Silver Pawn Shop. A life that Rick doesn't necessarily approve of all that much. Literally right across the street from the Gold and Silver Pawn Shop is Chum Lee's very own candy shop called Chum Lee's Candy on the Boulevard. The shop itself isn't very big, but gives Chum Lee a chance to earn an extra chunk of change outside of the Pawn Star show and the pawn shop itself. This business does mean that Chum Lee ends up spending a lot of time working outside of the shop as he's focusing on the logistics of running the candy store and even appearing in it, taking photos with fans and customers alike. Rick probably isn't too pleased that Chum Lee now has to spend a lot of extra time outside of the shop and off the show managing the candy shop, and Rick himself hasn't been one to visit the shop very frequently. Number 2. His Legal Troubles What you got a problem? What is it, a musket? It's a musketoon. Does it play a song? Can you just fire the damn thing already? Like most celebrities, Chum Lee is no stranger to legal issues, which is yet another thing that Rick is not a huge fan of. In March of 2016, Chum Lee's house was raided during an ongoing sexual assault investigation. During said raid, police found crystal meth, marijuana, and a firearm inside of Chum Lee's house. On a search conducted a little later, police actually found 11 more firearms which were actually owned legally but some of them were in fact loaded. Alongside the firearms collection, police also seized a handful of multi-dose bars of Xanax and evidence of cocaine usage. Chumley was arrested and after appearing in court was charged with 20 felony accounts including drugs and weapon charges and was sentenced to 3 years of probation and counseling. Since then, Chumley has been a much more upstanding citizen, however his dark past is one that Rick is not a fan of whatsoever. Number 3. His Love of the Spotlight Sure buddy, you know, quit prank calling me, I don't need this. Who wants to be a millionaire? This ain't who wants to be a millionaire. What chop, do you mean? chop, chop, chop. No, uh... While Chumley definitely is not the most outgoing person on Pawn Stars or even in real life, he certainly lives a more lavish public lifestyle than Rick or any of the other Pawn Stars cast members do. The $5 million net worth that Chumley has acquired throughout his Pawn Stars career has allowed him to enjoy the luxuries such as high-end automobiles and basically live financially free. Chumley has been spotted driving around in his customized 1986 Buick Regal with hydraulic lifts in both the front and back as well as his Rolls-Royce Phantom, Maserati Gran Turismo, Cadillac Escalade, Range Rover, and 1964 Impala. It seems like Chum Lee has no problem with writing checks on the Pawn Stars show or in real life, and his garage is just one of the many areas that is extensively lavish. Number 4. Neither of them have time. Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas, Chum. Have you been naughty or nice? <laughs> Nice Santa outfit. Both Rick and Chum Lee are stable millionaires thanks to the Pawn Stars show, and each of them have extensive duties both on and off the show thanks to their careers skyrocketing when the series premiered. This means both men are incredibly busy and their free time, or lack thereof, typically is not spent with one another. As mentioned earlier, Chum Lee, when out of the shop, can probably be found running his candy store or hanging out with his girlfriend whereas Rick is also yielding his fair share of external responsibilities, leaving time for small talk and chit chat few and far from. Number 5. He's lost the show a lot of money. It's a potato, man, but it ain't just a regular potato. This, um, it dates back to the 60s. Uh, Martin Luther King got hit with this during his peace riot. Chum Lee has been notoriously known as the dumb one on the set of the show since it premiered, and while Austin has proved Rick and company wrong quite a few times, he's also proven them right. 
Shortly after the series aired, Chumley actually cost the shop about $20,000 after he broke a base that someone had just pawned to the shop, hoping to get it back at a later date. This is one of the more expensive mistakes that Chumley has made in his time working at the shop, but it certainly wasn't his only one as his immature personality and goofy nature oftentimes lead him into some sticky situations. Number 6. His Impulsive Purchases Keeping on the trend of Chumley not being the sharpest tool in the shed, he hasn't always made the best purchases on the show. For instance, Austin once bought a set of collector's swords for a pretty hefty price without having them checked out by an expert first. After looking at the swords a little more closely, they were determined to be legitimate, but not after Chumley gave Rick a massive scare. Scenarios like this are no stranger to Rick and Chumley, as Austin is frequently purchasing items without double checking legitimacy or seeing if the price is actually worth it. I should also mention that at one point Chumley actually purchased a potato in the pawn shop. Yes, that's right, a potato, so if I'm Rick, I'm probably not too enthusiastic about always chilling with the guy who thinks that potatoes are a worthwhile buy in a pawn shop. Number 7. They get all their talking done at the shop. This one is kind of obvious, but it stands true nonetheless. Typically, you don't want to clock out of work and immediately go hang out with all your coworkers for another few hours. Safe to say enough chatting and interaction gets done during business hours and the same goes for Chumley, Rick and everyone else involved in the gold and silver pawn shop. Once they hang things up for the day and head on home, they all know they'll have plenty of time to catch up tomorrow or later in the week. When you do end up factoring in things like all the time it takes to do their makeup and change scenes in between different takes, there's a lot of time where all the Pawn Stars cast and crew can catch up and talk to one another without it having to actually take place on the show. Not to mention, being a part of the Pawn Stars show does call for a lot of extra time off screen together to work on the logistics of the show, meaning that even outside of the actual pawn shop business, Rick and Chumley are still spending a lot of extra time together, so really, their relationship outside of the shop and off camera isn't entirely necessary. Like I mentioned, for most of us working a regular job, most of the time, when it's time to clock out and go home, we don't want to spend a ton of extra time talking and interacting with our coworkers since we've probably already done that multiple hours earlier in the day. And even though Rick, Chumley, and everyone else involved in the Pawn Stars show is certainly living a different life than most people, this certain degree of normalcy still falls into play in their personal lives. And honestly, Rick and Chumley probably have plenty of time on and off the show when they're changing scenes or wandering about the set to catch up with one another, so conversations outside of the workplace really aren't too vital. As I stated earlier, Chumley became friends with Corey Harrison at a pretty early age, and the two grew up together being childhood best friends. At the age of 21, Chumley began working for the Gold and Silver Pawn Shop, which was actually five years before the first season of Pawn Stars began filming. Clearly, Chumley and the Harrisons have a long history, but despite it, there are still some underlying issues at hand, which leads us into the list. The Pawn Stars crew consists of what in reality is one big happy family. Richard, the old man Harrison, was of course Rick's father before he passed away back in the summer of 2018, and Rick of course is Corey, aka Big Hoss's father. Austin Lee Russell, better known as Chum Lee, is one of the few Pawn Stars members and Gold and Silver Pawn Shop employees that doesn't bear the Harrison name, but seeing as he's been best friends with Corey since their early childhood, he is basically family as well. However, that small disconnect between Chum Lee and the Harrisons seems to have sparked a few heated exchanges in its time and has caused some behind the scenes drama on the show. And there you guys have it, those are 7 reasons why Rick Harrison doesn't talk to Chum Lee off of the Pawn Stars show. While it is not all bad blood between Chumley and the Harrisons, there are a few things that Rick definitely is not the biggest fan of, and with that, he chooses to keep his mouth shut. If you guys did enjoy this video, or if you're just a fan of Pawn Stars, make sure to drop a like and give this video a big old thumbs up, as it would be greatly appreciated. Of course, if you guys are new here to the channel, feel free to subscribe with your channel notifications turned on by clicking that bell icon, that way you'll always know every single time we post a new video. After you've joined the notification squad, make sure to let us know by dropping a comment down below saying I subscribed or hashtag notification squad for your chance to be featured in our video shout out at the end of the month where you guys can actually get your name and comment featured on screen and in a video for everyone else watching to see. Once again, thank you guys so much for tuning in and until next time, take it easy, have an awesome rest of your day and we'll see you guys later.